Let's hear it for B-Love. That was awesome. That was some uplifting music. Uh, very unlike the music that I'm about to read a poem about. Of course. Because I'm just that kind of guy. Um, actually, Halloween hasn't ended for me. Um, I like to take Halloween out for two weeks or so. I was not here last week, so I don't know what happened. But um, that's unfortunate. Anyway, I'm wearing a Slayer t-shirt. Um, probably can't tell that from here. Slayer. Um, they are coming here on November 13th, and they are actually one of my favorite bands. Um, I also have other favorite bands like Sonic Youth, Indigo Girls, um, various other radically different types of bands. But I've been into Slayer since 1984 when they released that album with the funny looking little devil with the Slayer belt buckle. Um, it's hilarious now, but it looked scary as hell when I was 13 years old. Um, and this song, I mean, this poem was actually a poem that my friend Ernie Hilbert asked me to write. Um, it was an elegy for Jeff Hanneman because the guitarist, one of the guitarists of Slayer died this year of liver failure. Um, so this is Reborn, an elegy for Jeff Hanneman. You were the guy who didn't care if someone's head got split. He dove into the pit, you'd shrug with an unblinking stare. You were the weaving, shit-faced drunk who never missed a fret, who cranked up minor threat, turning your bandmates onto punk. You played the Nazi, antichrist, anything to scare. Hidden under hair, your face emerging just looked pissed. You were the wild black rook to king, matching or trumping solos that shrieked with killing blows. They raked, flaked, fracked, but rarely sang. You were a hero to the torn fuck-ups like me. My crowd heard Slayer once and proudly claimed them ours. We were reborn. And so we lay you to rest, Jeff, knowing they would say, I mean, knowing you would say, Hey, fuckers, go away. I'm sleeping. One more goodbye, death. <laughs> 